Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Just like the title guy says, what I want to talk about, what we're going to talk about is NBA Live 19. The top WNBA players at each position. The top three players at each position in the WNBA. Okay, and first of all, I want to say guys, thanks for clicking on this video, but you know, NBA Live... 18. They brought the women's basketball to the game last year in NBA Live 18. That was a great, great move to introduce people, introduce the world, introduce the community to the WNBA. The WNBA, guys, I think is underrated. There's some great players in that league, and we're going to talk about some of them right now. You know, um, as we look at the WNBA, man, there are some talented women, and they're getting better and better. You know, it used to be that women, when they did college, they didn't have no NBA to go to. When they got done with college, they were done. So that's why it's a good idea to really bring forth the WNBA. Now let's talk about point guard. The top three point guards in the WNBA. Number one, we have Sue Bird of the Seattle Storm. She's the overall 89. The, the number two point guard in the WNBA, we have Jasmine Thomas of the Connecticut Sun. She's an overall 86. That's pretty good. And the number three point guard in the, M, in the WNBA is Skylar Diggins-Smith from the Dallas Wings. She's an overall 85. But let's talk about Sue Berg, the number one point guard in the WNBA. Is that Sue Berg sets a WNBA record for the most regular season games played. She's already has the record for all-time assists and has been selected to a record 11 All-Star games. So, man, Sue Bird is the number one point guard in the game. Now, let's go to the next position. Let's talk. Let's show shooting guard. Uh, let's talk about shooting guard. Let's talk about uh, Deanna Tarasio. She's from the Phoenix Mercury. She's an overall 90, as you can see her picture on the screen. We have a Chelsea Gray, a Los Angeles Sparks, overall 85. And then we have Simone Augustus from the Minnesota Lennox, and she's an overall 84. But let's talk about uh, Deanna Tarasio. Uh, is another living legend in the WNBA world. She's amassed three WNBA championships, wow, multiple individual honors, and has also set records for becoming the first player in WNBA history to hit a thousand three-pointers? Wow! And another record for the first player to score 8,000 points. Wow, that's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good for a, a shooting guard. Well, I guess that's why they put it as shooting guard, guys. Okay, now, let's go to the next position which is small forward as you can see on the screen we have Maya Moore she's the number one small forward in the WNBA playing for the Minnesota Lennox she's a 93 overall we have Helen uh, Deli Donnie of the Washington Miskets she's the overall 91 and then we have Nikki uh, Aguamika from the Los Angeles Sparks. She's the overall 88. But let's talk about Maya Moore, the number one small forward in the WNBA. She's a four-time champ. In fact, she's won the title every odd number year since 2011. Ooh, she's chasing the greats in terms of rings and has spent her entire career with the Minnesota Lennox. Man, that's, that's devotion right there. That's, uh, that's what you call sticking with the team. Uh, to speak her to speak on her versatility, she's won WNBA scoring title and been an all defensive selection in the same season. Man, this girl is a legend, man. Maya Moore is just so well-rounded as a player. Of course, we know that she's an impressive scorer, but she's also one of the best ball handlers and passers in the game. Uh, shout out to Maya Moore, man. That's 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 production right there. That's the best small forward in the WNBA. Now let's go to the next position, which is power forward. As you can see in the picture, guys, you got Candace Parker of the Los Angeles Sparks. She's an overall 92. Then we have Brianna Stewart of the Seattle Storm. She's an overall 88. And then we have Chini Aguamiki uh, from the Connecticut Sun. She's an overall 80. Five. Now let's talk about Candace Parker, man. One of the greats in the WNBA. 
Um, it says she's got real with us about what the growth of women hoops means to her before going to talk about how she always modeled her game after guards like Allen Iverson. Not only is she a prolific player, she carries a skill set that is totally uncommon for traditional bigs. So she's a big, okay? As a power forward, she's a big. But the WNBA adopted the concept of position less basketball much before the NBA transitioned over to it. Parker's guard skills really intended into every really extended into everything from her dribbling to her passing. But she can also use her size to show her inside scoring touch. You know, as a power forward, that would be a that, that, that's, that's a great uh, a skill right there. And uh, let's talk about Brianna Stewart, Stewart just a little bit. The number two power forward in the WNBA, again, she's the overall 88, is easily one of the best rebounding bigs in the WNBA, but can stretch the floor well, too. Okay, uh, so let's go to the next position, guys, when we talk about the center. The top three centers in the WNBA. First one on the list is Sylvia Fowles, as you see on the screen, from the Minnesota Lynx. Now, Minnesota Lynx got some players on these, as it one of these, some of these top players at each position. So they must be a really well-rounded, well-rounded, really good team. She's a 92 overall. Then we have Brittany Griner from the Phoenix Mercury. She's a 90 overall. And then we have Tina Charles of the New York Liberty. She's an 88 overall. But if we talk about Sylvia Fowles, guys, MVP, MVP. Last year's MVP, Sylvia Fowles, um, takes the throne for centers in the in, in NBA Live 19. And she led the Linux to last year's WNBA championship. Okay, that's good to know, man. Just recently, I told you they had a lot of girls on this team from the Minnesota Linux, man. There's some of these best players in the NBA at, at these uh, big positions. Just recently in May, Fowles had a game with 23 points, 20 rebounds, and five steals. The first 20, 20, and five game in, in, in WNBA history. Safe to say, that she's involved into a historic player in her own right. Wow. She is a, uh, a historic player when she can do numbers like that. Uh, while Fowles may be the most dominant big, Brittany Griner is also... Yeah, Brittany Griner is, all, is, is probably the most highlight worthy as she has some signature mo mo movements uh, dunking the ball. Wow, she can dunk the ball. Sometimes she's equipped to do an NBA Live. Ho, 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 ho. She's going to be dunking the ball in NBA Live. There you go, guys. There you go. We got uh, the top players. We got a point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. Those are the best women in the WNBA at each, each position. Okay, all right, guys. We got to promote these WNBA women, man. They, they, they're some great ballers, man. Great professional basketball players, man. Just like the men. They need their props, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. But if you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Join this team of Hollywood sports by hitting that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports, baby, and we can do it all together. Man, there's a lot of games rolling out right now. A lot of stuff rolling out like right now. And NBA Live 19 is, is starting to turn up the fire, baby. So hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports, and let's do it together, man. And as always, hopefully, I will see everybody on my next video. Thanks for watching. Can I count it off? Go ahead. One, two, three, four.